what's going on? Am I wearing the same makeup and outfit from my e-girl video? Yes. Is it because I'm shooting the videos on the same day? I'm not gonna tell. I was sitting here thinking to myself, I've seen a bunch of tier lists rating like candy, like, that's all I've seen is candy. And I was like, why not one for mustaches? Because I don't know about you, I am a mustache connoisseur. It is my life's work to find the perfect stash. I don't know why I went Italian, but it's in the blood. Let's get into it. I have created a stash tier. We are going for thickness, fullness, and just generally how it looks on that person's face. So no hate to anyone who's gonna be brought up in this video. Not everyone can pull off a mustache, honey. So how are we gonna rate the stashes? We are gonna go from Swanson, Harvey, Bloom, Franco, and Sierra. So as you can see, Swanson, perfect mustache, perfect face for it. It just, it drips in power. His face is just perfect for the stash. He's just, he embodies what a good mustache is. Harvey, Steve Harvey is second because his mustache looks so full, it looks fake. You got fake mustache, Harvey. Then we got Bloom. Now, the mustache is just a little thin. However, it looks good on him. Bloom got that pirate mustache going. Pirates can always pull off that thin mustache look. And then we got James Franco. It works. You know, it's like there's nothing about it, but it's just like, you go with it, you can go without it. And then we got Michael Cera. Need I say any more? I, I, I really like Michael as an actor. I think that he's a freaking hilarious dude, but I have to put my judge on. This is not being nice. We are going cutthroat, okay, mustaches. Very serious business. So our very first victim, we got Crank Gameplays, Ethan himself. Now, his mustache, a little thin, just a little bit, but he does have a nice, you know, a, a nice face shape for it. And I don't know, maybe it's because he's given a smolder to the camera, but I think the mustache does suit Ethan a lot. And honestly, like, he's he's a soft boy. I can't be mean to him, okay? I, I like Ethan. He's... He's, he's our Eve. However, Ethan, it's not a thick stash like Swanson. It's not a thick stash like Harvey. You, my sir, or Orlando Bloom. Which I mean, like, if you look close, I think that they do actually kind of look alike. That's interesting. Ethan, my friend, you get the bloom. You bloomin'. Ugh. That sounded a whole lot less creepy in my head than it was. The word blooming should not be used towards anyone. I don't think that you can make it not creepy. So he gets a bloom again because going from thickness and fullness, he has a very thin mustache, but it works. He has that pirate mustache going on. We stand the pirate mustache. And our next person, Ooh, ja, bloody hell, vita. we got PewDiePie. Felix, my man. I should have put another person on here. I should have put Post Malone below Michael Cera. Because Post Malone, you can make shapes out of his mustache. And it looks like two dogs are kissing. I don't see two dogs kissing. Now, I have seen this man with a beard. I've seen him with a mustache and a beard. He looks fantastic. The beard and the mustache shoot, suit him. Mustache on its own? I do not think so. My sir, king of YouTube, whose fans can execute me before I ever get anywhere in life, I'm gonna give you a Franco. Because it's not bad, but it's not great either. Next victim, Markiplier. God, I miss Unis Honest so freaking much. I just realized that both the picture of Mark and Ethan are from Unis Honest. I miss that channel so much, so many good times. I'm trying to figure out why he's so spooked in this. <laughs> anyway, Markiplier, your mustache. He's kind of giving me a dad stash vibe. That's what Swanson is. He's the dad stash. Swanson has the dad stash. And dad stashes are like top tier. I'm looking at it and it's very thin. I don't know if he's gonna get the Swanson. I think he's gonna be a very special duck. And he's gonna be in the middle of Bloom and Franco. Cause I can't say that it's a good stash, but I can't say it's a bad stash. It doesn't give me a pirate vibe. It gives me a little bit of a dad vibe but it's still not. I did not think that judging mustaches was gonna be this hard. Like, I'm trying to do this without insulting people. I really don't like insulting people. So moving on. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Disrespect. 
Now his mustache Is he wearing a wig? That is not his real- that's a wig, isn't it? Kind of going with the wig? His mustache. Total dad mustache. However, it looks too good. I think with the fake wig. It's a fake mustache. You fake in the stash? Disrespect! Oh no, it did just to, you know, anyone who sees this, take it as a compliment, okay? Your, your stash is so good, it looks fake. I mean, Harvey, great mustache, but it's just, it looks too good to be true in my opinion. And Logan Paul. My mom always told me that if there's, you got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. His mustache, it looks oddly spaced from his lip. Like, it's, it's not like over his lip like other mustaches, it's like more close, like closer to the nostrils. It's, it's like literally perfectly in between this little space. I, I just don't think that it works well at all. I was gonna say that he has the mustache that looks like, you know, something that rhymes with Lester the Investor, but again, that's way too mean, and I'm not gonna be that person. I will say, Y'all remember that dude from American Horror Story where it's just like 1920s dude has a very pencil thin mustache just like the character in that story this type of mustache should die. The pencil mustaches are dead, deceased, back in the day where they belong. My dude, you get a Sierra. You get the Sierra rating for that. And here comes our favorite boy, Julian! Julian! Rocking the dad stash, bro. He trademarks this look. The dad stash belongs to Julian. I... I love him. That that mustache is just so... It's so clean, it's so thick, it's full, it's over the lip, and it's just everything that we are looking for in a mustache, Julian. Bless up. Swanson. You, sir, are the first Swanson of the video. You wear that mustache proudly, my son. Up next, this guy's a little bit of a character. Don't know where he comes from, but sometimes he's seen with Markiplier. We got Wharf Stash. Now, again, I'm not an expert, but I think this mustache is fake. I think Wharf Stash is lying to us. I don't think that he has a perfectly pink curly Q mustache. I'm on to you. And where do we put fake mustaches? With the Harvey. You and Dr. Disrespect get comfortable until the fandoms come for me. Is it insulting that I think that people are gonna get insulted by this? Am I just creating my own hell? I probably am. And last but not least, Cinnamon Toast Kid. Now, he is the rival for the dad stash. He and Julian, they can go head to head with the stashes. You boys just make me so proud. Brings a tear to my eye. Just rocking it. Can. You, sir, Swanson, wear that stash proudly with Julian. Okay, so this is basically, this is basically all I got. Like, I just searched up famous YouTubers with mustaches, and these were the only people that they gave me. I thought I was gonna get Jacksepticeye, but he's never had a mustache. Out of all the YouTubers, he's never had one. I thought that was kind of strange. There he is, our Gaelic gladiator with the little bun and everything. Now he has, he does have a good mustache. It just can't be on the chart because it's connected with his beard. His very fabulous full beard. If I had to rate it, where would you fall on this chart, Sean? Cause I'm not getting dad vibes from this mustache. If he just had a plain straight mustache, what would that look like? He's given me a bloom, but he's also given me there's a subsection for this and I think that he gets it. We are gonna create our own little space for you right there. We got the Sean McLaughlin look. Here, I'll, I'll even make his own little, his own little cube. There we go. We got the Jesse. Yeah, I think he is his own category of stash. Sean, take one for the team, bro. Join my tier list. Anyway, those are all the YouTubers that I could find with mustaches. I know that there's more out there. I just couldn't find them. And again, this video is just because I was bored and I was like, hey, you know what? I like mustaches. Why not put them on a tier list? The things that we do and put on the internet when we're bored. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a bit dry. I am running off of two hours of sleep, but that's not important. What is important is that if you like the video, you hit that little like button right there. And if you like my randomness and want to yell at me for some reason, go ahead and comment below 
And while you're there, just because you are there, hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you around and make more trash videos like these. And again, I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I also hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye!